they were taken care of last night. I watched the game right. in they're, Houston. They're probably here already. <laughs> yeah, I watched the game in Houston. They were outboarded by 18 last night. Jamal Murray with Jokic. He was looking for a whistle, too. W hit the roll, and Jonas trying to, but he got a legit, yeah, legit seven-footer up against him. Now, Contavious Caldwell Pope's mid-range game, and it's all even at four. Brown, 50% from the field. Contavious Caldwell Pope is leading the NBA in three-point percentage, and it's all because of number 15. Right, the way he plays is contagious. And he gets the three. That's it. CJ almost took it away. You saw Caldwell Pope look back. He knew he had time on the shot clock. And the runner is a good one. And you know the thing that you love about Nikola Jokic's game? He's so decisive. But it'll get more intense as days go on. And, and, and the thing that people have to understand is it's a hamster. Right? I, I know a lot of people were, were talking today about, you know, when he's going to be reevaluated as a heck of a move by Jokic in another two weeks. <laughs> that was tough. Side of 22. Kanjar. All the way to the rack, Jokic having it to himself. Gosh, he has such right. soft hands. Smart player. They're looking for Jokic, obviously. He fuels the offense. And used the chicken wing to get it to Zeke Nagy and got away with it. Jokic protecting it as Jose did a good job. Now, five plus to play. Jokic right back at him. He knows when to put his head down. Lakers, Wizards, the last couple of years coming over to Denver. A good pickup for them because he's a spacer, he's a shooter. And so is that guy. And it's tough to gap Jamal Murray now. That's the game plan, maybe to start. You have, when you're off the ball right now, you have to have your feet in the lane and use that 2.9. Corner three. Bruce Brown, late close. This guy's a problem. Second little league of assists. He's got Murray and it's a total break. You can't take, you can't gamble against Nikola Jokic. Right. So I wonder if that's something that they discussed at halftime. Ramping up the physicality a little bit. Coming down to the end of the shot clock, and that guy knew it. He saw it all the way right in front of him. And they're missing, don't forget, they're missing about 20 points in the game because they're missing Michael Porter Jr. too. His second straight miss. And what a pass. And he Jokic. saw that play ahead. Yep. No question about that. Inside of nine left in the third. Murray caught in the air, and look where it goes. After Trey read it right and got a piece of it. Jokic, Caldwell Pope. Yeah, they got what they wanted. Garrett Temple. Sure. Didn't get there. Jokic looking for early offense. He's got Braun. And he's got a layup, going to the line, looking for the three-point play. Regardless as to how many minutes that he's played throughout the course of the season, GT will always be ready to go and lead by example. Yeah, get it out of the hands of Jokic if you can. And he felt the well, pressure can. one side. Aaron Gordon, Murray stays there with Jeff Green. So multiple substitutions. Now deep into the shot clock, Jokic for Gordon. Quick play. You got it. This end of the floor again. Against the MVP. Jamal Murray wanted Jokic, he'll get Jokic. And he'll get the roll. Now it requires enough stops. Jokic, and boy, if he hits it, you're in trouble. He's not a high percentage guy. This year he is up. Jamal Murray thought about the mid range instead. Jokic, and the lead back to Denver with 6.16.9.